Siesta Key's recent ranking as the second best beach in the country continues to make it a popular tourist destination. And as the key becomes busier than ever, business owners want to change and make some changes so that traffic flows smoother on the island and there's enough parking. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is live on Siesta Key with what they plan on doing. Dwayne. Well, Haley, here in the village, parking is at an absolute premium, especially during season. And business owners here say that coming, trolleys coming off and on the island will help alleviate these parking woes. For businesses on Siesta Village, traffic issues have always been a problem. But as for parking, well, that's on the top of the list. After a recent traffic study, parking study, I'm sorry, done by the county, we're about 300 spots short in the village alone. When you add more parking, it brings more people in, and it's going to always be an issue. You know, you always see the parking lot, it's closed or full. To alleviate heavy traffic, Siesta Key Village Association President Wendell Jacobson and other business owners are moving forward with plans to introduce an open-air trolley system on the island. Uh, to get where they need in the village, to the beach, restaurants, shopping, and other conveniences without having to worry about their vehicle. According to Jacobson, the organization is looking at two routes, one running from Southgate Mall to Siesta Village, then to the beach, another line running from Sarasota Pavilion Mall, taking South Bridge to Siesta Key Beach. One business owner in the village has concerns with trolleys creating even more congestion on Siesta's narrow roads. But coffee shop owner Zach Peevler is all for the trolleys as long as they can run consistently. He remembers a trolley service over a decade ago that few visitors took advantage of. They used to run from the, uh, the mall just off the bridge and then uh, come into the island. But it was usually just like weekends or something like that. As long as you can, you you can make the, the folks who visit aware of these options, they'll, they'll use them. Sarasota County Area Transit applied for an FDOT grant to help fund a trolley pilot program, something Jacobson says is needed to help keep these trolleys running. You're circling the village or the South Village trying to find a parking spot. It's a detriment to the island community. We want a more resort type feel and we feel that the trolley tram falls into that category. Well, the Sarasota County Area Transit, also known as SCAT, will meet at their administration building tomorrow morning, along with other business owners on the village to further discuss the future of these trolleys. Haley Scott, back to you.